Welcome back to the channel guys. You're in the garage Mr. Flea and today we're doing a bit more work as promised on the CR250L. Today we're going to be fitting the tail tidy. Remember in the past video uh, Spikes has already fitted one to the CR250L uh, rally. Now we're going to fit the same one to the CR250L. So it uh, involves replacing this full unit but still keeping existing indicators. Um, so what we'll do now, we'll just uh, go through where the tail tide is from and uh, I'll tell you a bit about it. Okay guys, let's break out the tail tide. And we've got, it's all roughly pre-assembled and some instructions in there as well. Okay. Okay, let's have a look what we've got. That's your tail tide is from a, a British company called JTEC. And this fits the CR250L and the M and also the Rally. So it's from 2017 onwards. Um, so let's just have a look what we've got in. This is the tail tidy unit. It's all pre-assembled and it uses um, existing wiring. So it is literally plug and play. In there you've got all the hardware that you need. Right, okay, so let's get into it. Okay, first off, we're gonna uh, remove these um, bolts that hold the seat on, and there's two similar to the rear as well. So first off, just crack those four off. One. Two. Three, four. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just undo these ones and let's just take the seat off first. So that's these first two, and then the seat just clips out. Okay, so I'll pull there and we'll pull the seat back. Job done. Okay, now remove the rear two bolts. There's little uh, top hat spaces here. Don't drop them, don't lose them. You're gonna need them. There's also a couple on the first two that you've taken out. They do tend to stay in there, so uh, don't forget those. And there, sometimes they can stick in. Right, okay, that's the first four bolts out. And what you can do, you can just ease these out now. Yeah, they're just held in position. These little clips, there you go, and that just pops off. That exposes all the wires, and everything we want is inside there. But first off, what we're going to do now, we're just going to undo the four bolts that are underneath, four there, and that takes the rear number plate off. Okay, there's four 10mm bolts there. We're just going to crack these off, and then we're going to leave one in why we disconnect the wiring at the top so four there and we'll just leave one in why disconnect the wiring okay it's got this little tag there that holds the uh, wire into the back light now inside there the push fit connectors. What you need to do is just slightly ease this um, waterproof rubber cowling type thing back. Exposes the wires there. Okay, now you've got your wires to your rear tail light, which are this one, and then you've got your indicator wires. So just try and remember which side goes to which indicators um, they are color coded so uh you not got to worry too much there you go there's your little tags there and literally you push this back section you see how that lifts and that just pops off like that yeah i think that that and uh so that this one is for the tail light this one, I think that's for the number plate light. 
So uh, same again, let's pop that one. And then we've got indicator of wires here. Okay, for your uh, indicators, you're gonna need a small screwdriver. Just literally insert that into the end there and lift that little tag up there and pull that out. Okay. Same in that one, pop that out. With these ones, there's a little tag there. Just lift that up, pop it out. So they are color coded. There you go. Okay, next up, we're just gonna undo this bolt here and there's one round the opposite side. Okay, that's those two upper bolts done and we've left this, this last one in nice and loose so we can retrieve that and then just slowly ease this out now okay just to make note of the routing of your indicators so your indicators come through and these little clips there they just clip underneath those uh, clips just to retain them so just make note of that so just pull them from the clips make sure your wiring's free and now it's a case of undoing these four mounting bolts, take the whole unit off, and then dismantle the indicators from their actual um, framework. They've got to be mounted onto the, to the new framework with the actual spacers. So that's what we'll do now. Next job, like we said, is to get the indicators off. Just crack these, these two bolts here, they're not very tight. So crack those, retrieve those, and then on the underside there, through this bracket, you'll see two little posi drive screws there. Retrieve those, that allow, allow you to take the actual cowling off that holds the indicators. Okay, that's those removed, so literally that will come forward now, and there you go. That's the cowling that's holding the indicators. Okay, what you'll notice at the back of each Indicator is a screw. Now that screw holds this bracket in place there. So if you crack this bolt, this, this screw, sorry. Let's do that. And then pull the indicator forward. You can see that actual bracket there. If you actually push that forward, you can see the bracket pop forward. There you go. That allows you to retrieve the bracket. Push this um, the grommet forward. You can, I mean, you can take this all the way out if you want, to, just to make it a little bit easier. So just take one out and then the next. Pop them through. And then you can just slowly work this out with a, a screwdriver. And you're going to retain this and use that in your uh, new back bracketry. Okay, same for the opposite side. And uh, we'll start uh, assembly. There you go, that's the actual grommet actually popped out. Um, literally, you take a flat blade screwdriver, that would be located in there, and you literally would just push the grommet out as such. Okay, opposite side. Something to note, that when you put this rubber grommet back into the new bracket, that is facing forward as you sit on the bike, and that is facing towards your number plate. And this will be located on the bike like that. Your blue wire indicator is on the, as you're sitting on the bike, on your right hand side. Okay, just to note, I found something, you've got to get the actual metal work back inside there. So you're going to need to take the back light off. And it's quite a bit of a tight fit, but I've all, uh, sorted um, a little bit of a technique here. As you can see, I've lubed it up with a bit of WD-40. And what we'll do is you just pop this the bracket there now what you'll see is there's very little clearance there so in order to so you don't actually scratch the, um, the backing plate there feed a screwdriver in from this side push on the plate there see how I've created that angle and then push at the same time and it misses a plate and it doesn't damage the plate whatsoever so that's those in next thing remount the back light Pop the indicators in. Blue on this side, remember, as you're sitting on the bike, so it's on your right-hand side. So the indicator with the blue wires is on this side. 
and then it's uh, remounting it back to the bike. Okay, indicators mounted. Uh, just a quick note, you do get a little spacer in with the kit. Now, as I think you can just see it there. It's quite tricky to get on, but use a bit of WD for it and you can actually ease that on with um, a screwdriver. Now, ideally that little bracket would be nice inside there, but it's that fiddly, I would recommend you put it on the outside. If you don't put them on, the indicators are going to have a bit too much movement. Right, the next thing, there's a little cowling that um, goes on to um, this bracket. So all your wires now actually go through um, this little port here. So we'll just feed those through. There. And remember, the blue and white was on your... Uh, right hand side as you sit on the bike so feed those through like so and I'll just grab the bracket system here's a little bracket and what you'll see there is there's two um, holes there they align up with that and then like so and then when you put this onto the actual bike that fills the void underneath and makes it look all flush and uh, as factory as such so what I'll do now is I'll just loosely fit those so we've got this so we can hook it on on the underside of the um, existing under tree and uh, I'll show you how that goes there you go I've used the m5 hardware supplied we've put it in this way so the actual um, bolt protrudes that way not sticking out this way what we're gonna do we're gonna offer it up this is nice and loose now so as we offer that up, these four bolts line up with the existing. You use an existing hardware. Make sure the plastic cowlings just lock inside. And if you go to the underneath, that will actually go to the existing under tray there. So we'll tighten that up after we've used the original four mounting bolts there. Okay, there you go. Just loosely fitted the uh, original hardware in there. Uh, just a note, a bit of a revision really, instead of um, pulling the indicators through this uh, existing um, hole there, I think they uh, they look a bit better just going straight through, so that will be a straight connection, this goes over there, that will be a connection, tidy this all up, put that in position there, and then the actual, the top back tail section can go on. So I'll nip these up, and then I'll show you when I've connected all the wires up. Okay. Connected uh, existing wiring up, so plugged in the uh, rear tail light, and uh, now it's an integrated uh, number plate light as well. Um, the number, the existing number plate, I've just literally ins insulation taped that up, uh, make it a bit watertight. So we've gone blue to blue, orange to orange, and these are just two earthing wires, so you it don't matter if you get those the uh, other way around. So now it's a case of putting everything inside here. And then uh, lashing her down with the uh, the little tidy there. And then it's a case of rebuilding it. But just as a note, quickly assemble everything up and then uh, give it a little test. So we'll turn it on. You've got your normal light, front light, back brake light, indicator left, indicator right. Jobs are good in. So now I can just buckle all this up. Uh, tidy it all up and then start reassembling. Okay, there we go. We're all tightened down. We're all um, tidied away. There's all the wires nice and neat um, At this point we've tightened down the M5 hardware supplied in the kit Just to tie the underside to the existing under tray. So that's all cool. Everything works um, Take the little cover off the light there And now it's uh, we're gonna put the uh, rear tail section on Okay, rear tail section just clips into place. There's some little rubber grommets behind there. They're just pushing. Now we're going to use the uh, rear luggage mounts. We're going to put them on in first and make sure everything's lined up. Just put them in loose. Let make sure your actual top hat spacer is locating into the actual uh, plastics. So just offer them up loosely and then tighten them up and make sure it's not nipping the plastics up. Okay, they're nicely tightened up. 
Now we're going to offer the seat up. So it does mount on there, I'm sure you know, with this little locating lug first. Push that in and then slide it up. And then make sure they go on the inside of the actual plastic um, fairing fittings, like so. Tuck that one in and that one. And then put the forward facing uh, luggage mounts in. Again, make sure the actual plastics aren't going to bind in there. You can feel it should be metal on metal, just a little nip. Do the other one and the jobs are good in. Okay, I'm sure you agree. It's absolutely lovely. It doesn't protrude past the actual original um, back tail unit anymore. It looks nice and flush. The only uh, horrible factor is these indicators. I don't like them. Like I said on a previous video, I have ordered some very, very similar to um, Spikes' as Rally. They will be going on there. Next thing to do is mount the actual flexible number plate so that's going to do i'm just going to mount that onto there um i'm actually you can just um you can use the uh, 3m adhesive tape to do it if you want to but because we're doing off-road and these might get flicked up or flicked off should i say we're doing a bit of off-roading i'm actually going to use the good old black plastic mounting screws so that's it then guys I hope this video has helped you out as usual. Please like, subscribe and comment. Um, you can get this actual tail tider from good old eBay. Like I said, it's uh, JTEC. It's a British made company. It is a little bit fiddly to fit, if I'm honest. But it's, you're more than capable of doing it. So until the next time, guys. Keep it wheel.